Hey everybody, it's Matt Cosgrove here. I'm the author and illustrator of Maca the Alpaca and the Epic Fail Tale series. And I thought today I might talk to you guys about how you can come up with cool characters for your stories. Now, the favorite characters I've ever created are in this book here, Epic Fail Tale, Snowman and the Seven Ninjas. And I had so much fun coming up with the Seven Ninjas. Um, I tried to make them as gross and disgusting as possible. So we had Snotty, Farty, Burpy, Scabby, Pukey, Flemmy, and Fred. So I had a great time using my imagination to come up with these characters, the most horrible, vile, disgusting ninjas you could possibly think of. And each of them has their own unique superpower and their own weapons. So Scabby has... Uh, fly Swatter of Fury, Snotty has his Shooting Stars of Slimy Snot, Fardy has his Whoopee Cushion of Doom. So it was lots and lots of fun trying to come up with the funniest, silliest weapons that I possibly could for each of these ninjas. And then to give each of them a unique personality, I gave each of them their very own catchphrase. So here we have... Fadi's catchphrase is always pull my finger and Snotty's catchphrase is snot on my watch and Scabby's catchphrase is pick it, lick it, flick it. So again, having lots and lots of fun coming up with the grossest possible thing I could think of to have each of those characters say. So it was lots of fun for me to do that to come up with the characters. Um, and I thought it might be a nice challenge for you guys to come up with your own ninja as well. So like I said, when you're thinking of your character, it's always good to think of their name first because a name can tell you so much about a character. So if you think about, um, like say, Captain Underpants or even Dogman, their name straight away tells you everything you need to know about the character. You think about other books, maybe if you think um, in Harry Potter, if you think of the mean teacher Severus Snape, if you think of his name, his name gives you a clue about who he is. It lets you know how to feel about him. So his first name Severus, it sounds severe, it's scary, it's very stern. And his last name Snape, it's almost like a snake. So it's got those connotations of being scary and sort of foreboding. So all of the names in Harry Potter have that kind of those nice extra connotations to them that helps give that extra uh, sort of dimension to the character and it lets you think about how you relate to them. Um, the next thing to think about with your character is their actions, how they're going to behave in your story, what they do, because the actions always speak louder than words. So we can learn about a character by what they're doing and how they're reacting in the story and the... In the Epic Fail Tale series with the ninjas, um, that's really simplified by giving each of them sort of different weapons that sums up their sort of their character and their motivation and their skills. So, um, and then the third thing to think about is the voice of the character. If your character has a really unique voice, a unique way of speaking, um, then it helps the reader to get a sense of who they are and it makes it really clear sort of who's speaking. If you've given your character a really distinct voice, then you kind of know who's speaking without even having, you know, the words that Tom said this or, you know, Sarah said this. We know straight away who that character is by what they say in their style of speaking, whether they shout all the time, whether they speak really, really, really quickly with lots and lots of big complicated words or whether they speak slowly. Um, they're all different ways of revealing the character by the way they talk, by their voice. Um, so now, if you take those three things, then you could take, um, use those to come up with your sort of very own ninja. So if you think about their name, um, all of the names of my seven ninjas sort of describe who they are. So whether it's snotty or flemmy or scabby, it really reveals who they are. But maybe if you're going to come up with your own ninja, maybe think about a ninja that relates to you maybe, or somebody you know, or it could be someone totally different. I think if I was going to base a ninja on myself, I would probably call my ninja Winji because I complain all of the time. So Winji would be a great name for me if I was a ninja. 
And then if I'm going to think about Winji's actions or specifically for a ninja, we think about their weapons, like whether they're going to use what would be their, um, you know, the, how would they relate to the other characters? What would they do? Um, then I would think a great weapon for a ninja called Winji might be a uh, megaphone so that he can complain extra loud and whinge really, really loud to annoy people even more so everybody could hear him always moaning. So I'd give him maybe the megaphone of moaning. And then lastly, we're talking about voice. So easy way to think of that is like a catchphrase, something that your character would always say so we know it's them. I think a great catchphrase for Winji would probably be, mm, do I have to? Because that's something that someone who whinges a lot would probably say, do I have to? So yeah, I've got a great name, I've got a great weapon or a great tool for them, I've got a great catchphrase. So then I could draw that ninja up. To draw a ninja is pretty easy. I would start with just a couple of rectangles like that. And some circles for some eyes, another rectangle there, then a circle, then some diamond shapes there. So there we've got the mask and some dots there for his eyes, some eyebrows down, the nose there, and then I'm gonna draw, he's got his hand out there, he's got his megaphone. Of moaning going out there so it can complain and whinge at top volume and annoy everybody and just put his belt on there put his legs down there and some ninja boots and there we have it there we've got our new ninja Winji so you can see it's pretty easy to come up with a character got a name got their action and we've got their voice or their catchphrase. So if you think of those three things and then you could probably come up with a cool ninja just like Winji here. So um, maybe give that a go. I think it's you'll have a lot of fun doing that. Well, I hope you have fun if you give it a go. Um, anyway, I hope you're all staying safe. I hope you're washing your hands. I hope you're reading lots of books and you're drawing lots of cool things. Anyway, I'll catch you later. See you guys.